Tuesday. Well, isn't this cozy? An old flame of Mavericks comes between him and Tom. I like the cut of your cloth, and I'm not ashamed to let you know it. Threatening to end their partnership. I'm just liable to forget what good friends we are. He threatened me, Tom. But Maverick still knows how to capture a lady's heart. These things take training and experience. This is NBC News Update, sponsored by Ideal Toys. Here is Jane Pauley. President Reagan has returned to Washington after a California vacation to a busy week. Meets West German Chancellor Schmidt, decides whether to replace National Security Advisor Richard Allen, and faces budget problems. In Italy, terrorists blasted a hole in a prison wall and freed four women members of the Red Brigades. One person was killed and six wounded in the escape. The Gdansk shipyards in Poland, birthplace of solidarity, are scheduled to reopen tomorrow. They've been closed since martial law was imposed. Las Vegas police say an arsonist set 16 fires in two hotels and an apartment house. No one was hurt. I'm Jane Pauley in New York. More news later on this NBC station. I've got it. I've got it. I don't got it. The missing link puzzle. The only thing really missing is the solution from Ideal. Now in session, the People's Court. Real life courtroom drama at its best. Get them off the stage. When his manager said no, we didn't, didn't do it. For the first time, real people battle it out before a real judge. Yes. What proof do you have against him? No. Doug Llewellyn gets some surprising reactions. He has to be a consummate liar. Real life drama on The People's Court. The People's Court premieres 3 p.m. Monday on Channel 2. Next on Entertainment Tonight, it's a close-up look at the life and dreams of taxi star Jeff Conway. I think if I get a hit record, I, I know I'd die a happy man. Then brace yourself for a blast of shock rock with a plasmatics. Now for me, I get it out with rock and roll. A wild show you don't want to miss. Entertainment Tonight. 6.30 weeknights right after Channel 2 News.